Tom Room, a video visit to the Norman Public Schools for the week of October 31st through November 6th. I'm Brett Robinson. And I'm Coco Bratton. This is the first week of a new grading period and a week that sees us celebrating holidays and special events in our schools. Halloween begins the week with parties, costumes, and monstrous assemblies on most of our campuses. You can see what went on in the schools on Channel 29's Halloween Fest, which airs live on Monday night from 8.45 until midnight. You can see the little ghosties and ghoulies in action with our traditional goblin parades and take part in Norman's first pumpkin beauty pageant. Then, festival host Byron Baker and Ben Long will give us a token trick-or-treat that will take viewers to the midnight hour with a collection of features that will include an assault on Bullet Mound, sneak previews at the movies, a visit from Mr. Archaeology, commercials, and much, much more. Treat yourself to the Halloween Fest this Monday night on Channel 29. Celebrations will continue all week on the high school campus as Norman High School students take part in the 1988 homecoming activities. This is Spirit Week at the high school and juniors and seniors are reminded to wear their Hard Rock t-shirts on Monday, dress all black on Tuesday, come to school dressed to kill on Wednesday, and wear their school colors black and orange on Thursday. The entire community is invited to take part in the traditional homecoming activities on Friday, November 4th. There will be a parade down Main Street from the railroad tracks to the high school beginning at 5.30. Follow the parade to the high school for the pep rally and bonfire that will begin at 6.15. KOCO TV Channel 5 will broadcast their 6.20 sportscast live from the pep rally as sportscaster Dean Blevins returns to his alma mater to MC the pep rally and do the news. The homecoming game begins at 7.30 at Collins Field as the Norman High Tigers take on the Lawton Ike Eagles. The coronation of the homecoming royalty will be a special halftime feature of the game. Homecoming festivities end with a dance in the North Gym that begins at 10 o'clock and goes until 12.30. All Norman High High School graduates are invited to attend any or all of these homecoming events. If Halloween and homecoming weren't enough cause for celebration, students will also enjoy celebrating a day of no school this Friday, November 4th. All of the Norman Public Schools will be closed this Friday for Parent-Teacher Conference Day. Elementary parents are encouraged to make and keep their appointments with the teachers. Parents of secondary students are invited to drop in to visit with the teachers. High school parents should have received a letter this week with details about the conference day. High school teachers will be in their rooms on Friday from 9 a.m. until 12.30 and from 2 p.m. until 5. For some useful parent tips about how to make the most of parent-teacher conferences, be sure to watch Small Talk all this week at 7 p.m. And if you need some help with child care on Friday, the Wilson Community After School Program is offering a full day of child care from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. The cost is $10 if you're a participant in the CASP program and, if, and $12 if you are not. Call Sue at 329-3563 for reservations. If you're a little disappointed by your grades or if you need a little help with some of your assignments, the schools, the Norman Public Schools Foundation, and the Hitachi Corporation are coming to your aid. The homework hotline is now in operation to offer help over the phone to kids having problems with their homework. Shirley Traw from Central and Scott Haven from OU will be available to answer your calls each Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday evening from 7 to 9 p.m. The homework hotline number is 360-0220. If you're going grocery shopping this week, be sure to save your receipt. Adams, Monroe, Lincoln, Lakeview, Kennedy, and now Norman High School are all saving Safeway receipts to help them get new computers through a special program sponsored by the Safeway stores and Apple computers. You don't have to be a patron of a school to participate. So anyone who has a Safeway receipt, take it to Adams, Monroe, Lincoln, Lakeview, Kennedy, or the high school to help them keep pace with the computer age. To help you keep pace with us, here's the rundown of programs you can enjoy this week on Channel 29. Students from Eisenhower Elementary School will join April Gandy to do some opening exercises every weekday morning at 8 a.m. Homeroom follows. It's homeroom again at 4 p.m. to kick off the Study Buddies Hour. This week on Study Buddies, we'll begin a series on American history with Pilgrims to the West. Pilgrims from Longfellow and Whittier Middle Schools gather for a feast on this week's episode of Truth or Derve. Tune in to see Lance Boyle and Alma Mater force, force feed a pumpkin and sauerkraut sandwich to 6th grade contestants on Truth or Derve this week at 5. It's homecoming week and Norman High and Activities Director Diane Ward hosts a special edition of Tiger Talk at 5.30. Tune in to meet each of the 20 nominees for homecoming royalty. Then go to the game Friday night to see who is crowned homecoming king, queen, prince, and princess. The real king of the school, Principal Dr. Richard Schiller, holds court with Jim Murphy this week on Class Action at 6. 
And the high school domination of Channel 29 continues at 6.30 with the season premiere of Tiger Den. The media production students take a close look at homecoming and tell us what happened to the first media production students. That's Tiger Den, premiering this week at 6.30. Principal Mickey Heron and teacher Carolyn Rogers join John Scroggins and Sherry Burden for some small talk at 7. Find out how Monroe Elementary School has gained national recognition for its civic projects. Then stay tuned for a parent tip about the upcoming conferences and take a tour of Lincoln Elementary School this week on Small Talk at 7. Then it's time for Scorecard at 7.30 with host Byron Baker and Eric Mitchell. Call in on Monday evening with your questions and comments about OU or Norman High School sports on Scorecard at 7.30. There's a special bedtime story in store for Monday as we celebrate a scary, scary Halloween at 8. On Tuesday, we'll learn all of the words in the B book. And we'll send Marvin K. Mooney home on Wednesday. The gingerbread man will make an appearance on Thursday's bedtime story. And there will be bread and jam for Francis on Friday. Following the bedtime story each evening is Underscore with host John Clinton. This week's guest is, a, the, is the professor of music education at the University of Oklahoma, Joy Nelson. Channel 29's concert time, Prodigy Plays, follows Underscore. Then beginning this week, is one more chance to hear everything you wanted to know about what ha what's happening in the Norman Public Schools, as homeroom is repeated at the end of the day. School programs and sports playbacks are featured on the Channel 29 weekend, Saturday from 10 to 2 and Sunday from 2 to 6, along with visits from Norman and Safety Sneaker and public service announcements prepared by the district's fifth graders. Here's what's on the menu for the elementary students this week. On Monday, which is Halloween, there's a deep dish Mexican pizza, salad, and chilled diced pears. Something new, sausage, hash browns, cherry crisp, and fruit juice debuts on Tuesday. Wednesday's fare is hot dog, french fries, carrots and celery sticks, and chocolate pudding. And it's ravioli and a salad, corn, cookies, and breadsticks for Thursday. You're on your own for lunch Friday, since the schools will be closed for parent-teacher conferences. Last year's graduating seniors were awarded over a million dollars in scholarships to colleges and universities. This year's class, with its 23 merit scholars, promises to do just as well. But there are other ways to get financial help with post-high school education. Brett Robinson, yes, this guy sitting next to me, has won a full tuition scholarship to the Video Technical Institute by winning first place in a national video production contest. Tell us a little bit about your winning entry. Well, the title of the entry is Jennifer, and it's about this girl who lives in Oklahoma City who has a muscular dystrophy-related disease. And it's really neat because she, uh, from the head up, you cannot tell that she has a disease. Wow. And it's only until you see her from the, uh, you know, the full shot of her that you realize that she has a handicap. But she accepts it, and she is really a neat girl. Hmm. And how did you hear about the contest? Uh, I read about it in Rolling Stone magazine, and uh, there was a $5,000 prize awarded, and that $5,000 prize was the scholarship. I thought it was cash. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> so did you think you were going to win? No, I didn't. I was really surprised. We did this about April of last year, and this summer I called up, it had been a couple months, and I called up to find out who had won. Mm -hmm. And I called up and I said, have you already chose a winner? And they said, yes, I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> and then uh, in the middle of the summer, they called me back, and they said, congratulations, you've won. And it's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> Pretty pleased with that. Yeah, well, it was. <laughs> well, let's take a look at it. All right. Okay. This is Brett. I was just checking to see if you're ready to go. Ready? What time are you going to be here? Oh, about 30 minutes. Make it 15. I'll make it 20. Bye. Are you ready? You're late. 
Oh, come on, let's go. You're watching, Tom. Sometimes I get tired of being I have arthrogryposis multiplex congenita. It involves my bones and my joints, which means I can't lift things, run, or do anything exciting. I don't feel as it a problem. I mean, there's some things I can't do, which is fine, but it's just I was born this way, and I don't, have not felt anything different, so I don't think it's a problem. I mean, there's times when it can be frustrating, but it's not the most frustrating thing in my life. Carrying my butts is a problem, and sometimes it conflicts with teachers. Like once when my teacher said that she didn't put my name on the board because she knows I need help, well, I told her that I didn't want to be treated any differently. When I first meet someone, I kind of wonder, you know, um, how are they going to feel around me and stuff? Are they going to make fun of me? What, what are they going to think? That's probably my biggest fear. With guys, you know, it's a big deal that if they're going to go out with a handicapped person, then she'll break or do something, you know. But when they get older, then they understand. Well, I met this guy last week, and when he told me and everything, and he understood, and he's not real high on his ego. He's not real, you know, he doesn't want a car that's real fancy, and he doesn't have a lot of money. It's cute, but anyways, I don't, I mean, someone with that inside, I mean, they don't have to be just awesome on the outside, but it doesn't really matter what you look on the, like on the outside, it really matters what you are on the inside, and I want a nice husband and a family. I like to be an artist, I really would, and my art teacher told me, like, by the time I'm a senior, I should have an art scholarship to any college of my choice, and so, but if I don't make it in that category, I'd love to be a psychologist for troubled teenagers. We need me a handicapped person if I think that you should ask, if the, ask them if they want help instead of going ahead and doing it for them so that you won't do something wrong. And then maybe you'll get to know them better and be more acquainted. Sometimes I think that God put me on this earth for some special reason and that I shouldn't be sad about it. And if I get frustrated and just think, um, I'm a real neat person and I'm going to tackle the world and I've been over it. I wish that people understood right off the bat, but I know they won't, so. But my wish, I don't wish to be normal because I'm different and I'm proud of being different. Sometimes I get tired of waiting. Sometimes Thank you for watching Home Room. I'm Coco Bratton. And I'm Brett Robinson, wishing you good grades and good times from the Norman Public Schools and Channel 29.